Okay, so good morning class or good afternoon or some of you might be watching this uh during their evening, no? So again, okay, since uh we are going to have our asynchronous class today, since uh may mga activities uh, which is being held on sa college natin, okay, so which is why I made this video for you to watch during your most convenient time, no? Para hindi tayo mahuli sa mga lessons natin, okay? Or para mag-quiz na lang tayo siguro during our face-to-face uh, -face once again. Okay, so today, our topic is all about yung five is ng uh, traffic. Uh, tawag dito? Yes, five is of traffic management natin. Okay? So yung first natin is si traffic engineering and then second si edu education and then si enforcement, ecology, and si economy. So first, dito muna tayo sa uh, engineering natin. So that is the science of measuring traffic and travel. Okay? So uh, hindi lang yung mga may sizes yung nami-measure but also yung traffic natin. Okay, ma'am, paano po? Okay, so for example, you are traveling to Manila and then oh, you are going back here in Ilocos or vice versa, no? Okay, so kung titingnan nyo sa mga gilid-gilid ng kalsada, okay, may mga uh, signages dyan, okay? So sinasabi, you are one kilometer away from Manila or you are one kilometer away from Ilocos, okay? So, um, sakop lahat ni engineering yon. So, that is one way of uh, measuring yung travel ng isang tao. And then, that is the study of basic laws relative to traffic laws, rules, and regulation. And that is the application of knowledge to the professional practice of planning and uh, deciding as well as operating traffic system. So, you, as the traffic engineer, you are going to plan and design transport improvements, no? So, kasama dyan yung pag-build ng mga junctions, mga parking lots, or traffic control system, as well as public transport systems na tinatawag natin. And then, you as the traffic engineer, you are going to carry out studies. And you are going to find out kung ano yung mga problems dito sa road systems natin. And then, kapag na-determine mo yung mga problems, okay, you are going to provide a solution. Okay? Again, you are going to determine problems and then you are going to provide for the solution. So, yun yung trabaho mo as the traffic engineer or uh, dito sa ating traffic engineering na tinatawag. Okay? Next naman tayo dun sa functions naman of traffic engineering. Okay, so yung first natin is to achieve efficient, free, and uh, rapid flow of traffic. Okay, so you are going to determine kung saan magkakaroon ng heavy traffic, like sa mga public areas, and then doon ka dapat naglalagay ng mga traffic lights. Okay, and doon dapat na medyo mas malawak yung sakop ng daan or doon ka magkakaroon ng road widening systems natin. So that is to achieve a free flow of traffic. And then uh, dito naman sa second one is yung ating to prevent traffic accidents. no So you are going to determine once again yung mga hot spots for accidents and then doon ka dapat maglalagay ng mga appropriate Uh, traffic signs. Like for example, di ba meron tayong mga um, places in which prone siya sa landslide. Most especially kapag umuulan. Okay? So you are going to uh, give or to put warning signs doon like beware of falling rocks or slippery when wet. Okay? Things like that. So yun yung sakop ni traffic engineering in order to give yung driver a heads up. Uh, when he approaches that particular area. Okay? So, next naman tayo is to um, simplify yung police enforcement actions and performance. Okay? So, for example, kung maayos yung traffic road systems kasi maayos yung trabaho ni traffic engineering, okay? So, malalesen yung mga uh, accidents na mangyayari. 
So, sino ba ang uh, unang nagre-respond when it comes to uh, accidents kapag may nangyaring uh, traffic accidents sa mga daan natin? Si uh, law enforcer, right? Or si uh, other uh, traffic, uh, infor- I mean, law enforcement agencies natin. Okay? So, basically, kung maayos yung trabaho ni traffic engineer, then malilesen yung accidents. And then, yung result is malilesen din yung trabaho ni law enforcement agency or yung mga police natin. And then, uh, to show good police actions and performance, and then yung number five natin is to present close relationship to the pillars of traffic. So, dito, si uh, traffic engineering, siya yung nagiging uh, pinaka-core nila. Okay? So, it serves as a binder to all the five E's of tra- uh, traffic. So, which is why, naging una siyang tra- uh, topic natin since siya yung pinaka or isa sa mga pinaka-important na part ng 5 keys of traffic management natin. So, punta tayo dito sa uh, agencies concerned in traffic engineering. Okay, so first natin is CDPWH. So, that is national in scope, meaning they are um existing from Luzon to Mindanao. So, just like sa um, PNP natin, may sinasabi tayong PNP is national in scope and civilian in character. Okay? So, parang ganun din si DPWH. Okay? So, kung si um, uh, PNP, meron siyang chief PNP. Okay? Si DPWH, meron naman siyang director which is uh, uh, nagsusupervise sa mga agencies or sa mga satellite agencies na sinasakop niya within the Philippines. Okay, and also that determines yung traffic loads natin, pattern, draw, origin, and destinations. Okay, so yan yung trabaho ni DPWH natin. Okay, so punta naman tayo dito sa agencies concerned in traffic engineering natin. So yung offers natin is si national roads natin. Okay, so that is interconnecting cities and municipalities natin and also a network of national roads through cities and municipalities natin. Okay? So, yung biggest example natin dyan or yung pinaka-sikat na example natin dito sa National Road is si Maharlika Highway. Okay? So, kung makikita nyo dito sa picture, okay, yung red line, okay, hanggang dun sa dulo, okay, sabi dito, yung Maharlika Highway natin it starts in the northern terminus of Lawag and then nagtatapos siya doon sa Zamboanga City. Okay, so uh, maybe tinatanong nyo, ma'am, bakit po yung definition ni National Road is interconnecting cities pero bakit may mga gaps na nakikita tayo dito sa ating uh, map? So dyan papasok yung ating San Juanico Bridge. Okay, so siya yung nagko-connect doon sa gap within the islands of Philippines natin. Okay, so by the way, si uh, San Juanico Bridge, that is the longest highway of the Philippines. Okay, so siya yung uh, nagko-connect sa mga national roads natin. So which is why nag-start siya sa Lawag and then nag-end sa Zamboanga City. Okay, so etong si San Juanico Bridge, kinokonnect na si Leyte and Samar. So, so which is why nagkaroon tayo ng um uh, national roads or yung ating Maharlika Highway. Okay, so by the way, take note to dyan, si Maharlika Highway is also called as Pan-Philippine Highway or Pan-Philippine Highway. Okay, so maybe uh, I'm just going to discuss uh, yung mga addendum na lang uh, kapag nag-face-to-face tayo since uh, maybe some of you might not uh, be able to get yung spelling kapag dito lang sa online, no? And then next natin, is yung ating um, provincial government, municipal government, and then si chartered cities naman. So, we are going to have yung keywords natin dyan. So, parang bumababa lang siya, okay? So, sa provincial government, ano ba yung nasa baba ni provincial? So, yan si municipal, okay? So, which is why, take note nyo dyan, underline nyo dyan, si municipalities, okay? So, that is the uh, municipalities within the province. Again, you're going to underline si municipalities natin. And then, dito sa municipal government naman, ano yung nasa baba ni munisi- munisipyo? Okay? Barangay. So, yun yung magiging keywords nyo dyan. Okay? So, that is the network of streets and roads within the barangay. And then, next naman natin is si chartered cities. So, yan yung na- dapat nasa 
inakababa ninyo. Okay? So, yun yung mga keywords natin. And then, next tayo. Okay? Yung application of the objectives of traffic engineering. So, first dyan is habitually congested commercial areas natin. So, as we have mentioned during our previous discussions, no? Um, yung uh, isa sa mga... Uh, isa sa mga uh, solutions para ma-solve natin okay yung uh, congestion natin sa Philippines is to uh, provide infrastructures like skyways okay so dito papasok yung ating ob uh, application ng objective okay so uh, uh, makita niyo dito that employs yung skyways and underpass natin so which is why kapag nagpunta kayo sa Manila okay Uh, may mga uh, makikita kayong skyways and underpass doon. Okay? So, they are maximizing their spaces. So, uh, hindi naman ito super uh, applied most probably sa pro province natin since that is only located sa NCR. Pero kapag pumunta ka sa abroad, no, uh, maraming mga skyways and underpass na ine-employ sila since may budget nga sila. And then, Pilipinas, medyo bogs tayo dan. Okay, so next tayo, okay, the uh, heavily traveled thoroughfares and then congested local areas and intersection. Again, the uh, you as the traffic engineer, you are going to provide um traffic uh, signages and traffic lights doon sa ating intersections para maiwasan yung mga, um uh, yung parang video na pinapanood ko sa inyo during our previous meeting. So, sakop na yun lahat. And then, dito tayo sa uh, number four, special occasions and events, and then disaster or emergencies. So, kung mapapansin natin kapag nagkaroon tayo ng emergencies or uh, iPhones, for example, kapag, na, kapag maraming uh, mga puno na nagkalat sa daan after ng isang calamity or bagyo, eh, may mga road clearing uh, campaigns lahat yan, or road clearing activities na nangyayari. So, uh, si DPWH or si Traffic Engineering yung uh, may trabaho nun. And then, uh, school crossing, so which is why may mga makikita tayong uh, tawag dito. May mga ma makikita tayong mga ganito doon. Yan. Okay? Mga, hindi <laughs> marunong, hindi ako marunong dito. Paano ba ito? <laughs> Okay, so which is why may mga makikita kang ganyan, okay? So yan ay mga uh, traffic signages. So kapag ganto, you are required to uh, minimize or reduce the speed kapag you are approaching mga schools natin since uh, children are prone to accidents. Okay, so ganun. And next tayo. So... Yun yung ating traffic engineering.